Hey there guys, now there's one thing that has been common for all us iPhone users, frantically swiping through our screens trying to turn off the Bluetooth or turn on the flashlight. But did you know there's a much easier way to access our most frequently used iPhone settings and that is called the control center and it's an absolute game changer trust me guys. Control center is a quick and easy way to access commonly used settings and features with just a swipe and a tap. But it's not just about the convenience guys, the control center can actually help us be more efficient and productive too. Just open the control center and it's done in seconds. And talking about accessibility needs, the control center includes features like magnifier and assistive touch, making it easier to use the iPhone for people with physical disabilities as well. But first, let's find out how to access the control center. Now guys, if you want to open the control center on an iPhone with Face ID, swipe down from the top right edge. To close the control center, swipe up from the bottom. However, on an iPhone with a home button, swipe up from the bottom. To close the control center, swipe down or press the home button. How to customize what you see in control center? You can easily add, remove and rearrange controls to get quick access to the features and apps that you use the most. To add a control, simply head over to settings and tap on control center. From there, you can hit the add button next to the app or feature that you want to include. And if you want to access the control center from within apps, don't forget to turn on access within apps. If you change your mind and want to remove a control, no worries, just go back to settings and tap on control center again. Tap the remove button and select the app or feature that you want to remove. And if you want to rearrange the order of your controls, just hold down the and drag the controls to where you want them to be. Remove home screen controls. Have you ever looked at your iPhone's control center and thought, why do I have all these home controls if I don't even have any home accessories? It can be a bit overwhelming to have all that extra clutter on your screen. Fortunately, there's an easy solution to this problem. Simply turn off the home controls in the control center. Here's how to do it. Start by opening the settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down until you see the option labeled as Control Center and tap on it. From there, you'll see a toggle switch next to the option for Show Home Controls. Just turn that switch off and voila, the home controls will disappear from your control center. Now, your control center will be much more streamlined and easier to navigate. No more unnecessary controls cluttering up your screen. Control Center Hacks But guys, that's not all. Did you know that many controls offer additional options? Just touch and hold control to see what options are available. For instance, you can touch and hold the camera icon to quickly take a selfie, photo or even a video. And if you touch and hold the top left group of controls, you can open up the airdrop options. With all these customization options, your control center can be tailored exactly to your liking. So there you have it guys, everything that you need to know about using and customizing your iPhone control center. From adjusting your brightness to customizing your phone, the possibilities are absolutely endless. So why not take some time to personalize it to your liking and make your iPhone experience even more efficient and and enjoyable. Do share your thoughts with us on this video and keep watching this space for more such helpful content.